Hello, today we are going to be talking about transitioning our summer purses or handbags to a fall winter handbag. All right, so during the summer, kind of late spring into the summer, I like to carry this handbag here. Um, I can't remember what you call this, but I really enjoy this bag. It's a really good size. It's big enough that I'm able to put everything that I need in it, but it's not so big that it's hard to carry. Um, Cause some of these like more like woven type bags are like massive and I don't need like a beach bag. I just need something a little smaller. So this one's perfect, but I'm gonna show you, I guess my purse collection, which is not big at all. <laughs> and then, um, kind of what I have in my purse and I'll move it over and yeah, we'll go from there. All right, and then I thought about putting this video over on my like fashion uh, YouTube channel, but I decided this kind of is not really a fashion thing. I mean, this is something almost every woman needs to carry. One of the bags I wanna show you, I actually use for like my homeschool books that I take to co-op. And so yeah, there's more here than just like making a fashion statement or anything like that. So. The first thing I'm going to show you here is this black leather purse. And this has been a really good bag. Um, I don't know what brand it is. It's Sandra Roberts. I, I don't know. Um, I probably found it like at TJ Maxx, somewhere like that. But uh, I have really enjoyed this bag. It's a, again, a really good size bag, but it wasn't too big and heavy. It's got lots of nice pockets. Um, the only thing with this bag is it's unfortunately not held up as well as I would have liked. And so if I can find another black bag that I like, I will probably be retiring this one and replacing it. The outside is beautiful. The, the outside is held up very well, but the inside has, um, come on the unseen and I've actually sewed it up myself to keep it from completely coming apart. So, I mean, at least where it's coming apart, no one really sees, but that does frustrate me. And so it, it's going to be going on. I, uh, I have my eye on a few black bags that I would like. It's just a matter of finding the one with just the right shoulder strap. Cause I had a very nice black leather Dooney and Burke bag that I really liked except that the shoulder strap part was really more of just a handbag. You could not put it over your shoulder like this. And I really need my hands free. So it just did not work for me. So I ended up having to, um, I sold that one and actually got this one instead. And the quality of this one is obviously not as good, but um, it was a really good bag for me though, for what I needed. So now it's on to look for a new one. But until I find that, if I need a black handbag, this is the one I will be using. All right, then I have this really nice little teal um, leather bag. And I have had this bag longer than any others. It has been an amazing quality. And this bag's actually Coach and it's leather, but I have had this thing probably maybe 17 years now. It's been a long time. And this thing is, is beautiful. Um, so I've been very pleased with this and the inside just looks like that. So the only thing with this one is it works when it's just me going out somewhere, but whenever I have the kids with me, this one is just a little too small and I'm actually getting ready to transition more where I could take this with the kids because we no longer need like diapers, change of clothes, you know, all the extras that you need with younger children. All of my kids have kind of moved out of that. So I can start taking smaller handbags when I have all of them again. So maybe I will start getting more use out of this than I was the last few years. And I like to the color of this, I feel like it's, this is actually great for all year round, but um, it's a really good color. Okay, and then my last one, and this poor bag has had the most wear and tear, and it is a really good bag too, but this thing, it's been with me since um, my oldest was a baby, and this is my Disney Dooney, and it's so cute, and I just love it, but it is definitely starting to show its age. I don't know if you can see the wear and tear. 
I will still carry this because I just love it so much, but it has been a great bag. And this was like my diaper bag for like, well, I got it when Wiley was maybe a little over a year. So, I mean, I used it for him too, but mostly it's been my diaper bag for the other three and then him some. But, um, and then this bag is great in the inside too. It's got lots of nice um, pockets. And yes, I have really enjoyed this bag and I don't carry it as much in the summertime because I feel like it looks a little bit more fall and winter, but I do carry it when I need a bigger bag. Um, I took a plane trip with my older kids or I'm sorry, my younger two, not that long ago. And I took this as my handbag because it was perfect to be able to hold a bunch of stuff. So, all right, so now let's look at what I keep inside my purse. Because I really only have like the three handbags that I kind of use, I pretty much just go from my brown bag to my black bag, depending on what I'm wearing, if brown or black goes better. What I have my eye out for is I would really like, um, I think it's a Dooney and Burke, but it's brown. No, I'm sorry. It's black. And then it has like brown edging and a brown bottom. And I feel like that would be perfect because then I could wear it with everything and I wouldn't have to switch back and forth quite as much. I, I prefer to just be able to keep the one bag for the most part. And then I'm also kind of have my eye out for a clutch for when I go out to maybe a little nicer event. Um, I don't really have a good bag for that right now. So I would really like some kind of a little um, clutch and I'm thinking probably black for that, but I don't know. We'll see what, what I can find. But so that's kind of what I've got my eyes open for, but I don't know when I'll find that. All right, so I have this little bag here that I love. It is perfect to just keep a few little things in. I have, um, some like little gum and I have here, I'll just pull this stuff out. I have a hair tie and then I've got a hair tie of Bella's and then I keep um, a pin and a chapstick. And then I usually have a little hairbrush that goes in there too. Oh, here it is, it fell out. Um, and then I have a little hairbrush. So I like to keep just all these little loose items like this in this bag and then this makes it really easy for me to switch back and forth because I can just grab this out and throw it in the next bag. So the other thing I have is my wallet and I have maybe like two other wallets that I kind of switch back and forth but this one is my favorite and it's just I mean a traditional wallet. It, it did break unfortunately. The little snap came off so I need to see if I can repair that or maybe find another one like it because I just really like this one. So I kind of hate to have to change, but so I've got those two. And then I also have just some little tissues. <laughs> These are the Paw Patrol ones. My kids all got some little like fun tissues in their stockings last year for Christmas and they are still lasting us. So I just keep them in the kitchen and whenever I run out, I grab another one and throw them in my purse because it's mostly the kids who need them anyway. So I just have some little tissues for whoever maybe needs it. And then I have my keys and my newer car doesn't take like a traditional like key key. My other one did and this one's the key fob. And I find this really hard to keep up with actually. It's when I have my, the black bag, or I'm sorry, the brown bag here, it's got this nice clip that I can clip it onto, but the other ones do not have that. So honestly, I have not found out a really good solution for this yet. I like to keep it in here sometimes because that makes it easy for me to take it out and throw it in the other one. The only problem with that is a lot of times I need to pull it out to lock the car because since there's so many of us getting in and out normally, I can't just lock it from my door. Like when I get out, I have to wait till all the doors are closed and everyone's coming with me. And usually at that point, I'm already like have walked away from the vehicle. And so I need to push the lock and the car is supposed to lock the moment you walk away, but I never trust that it actually does. So I like to actually hear it beep and lock it myself. So the key kind of just roams everywhere. I really need to find out a good solution for that. I have my, my other keys on here, but honestly, since I got 
the new car, I don't even take these with me. Um, I just don't find any need to take along my house key and everything else because I have access to everything I need just with my car. So maybe I'll just take this off and put this on the little key fob thing and that would be easier to keep up with. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. All right, so that is everything. And then, um, well, that wasn't that. Normally, this was not in my purse because we went to um, an aquarium and so I took some things out because I wanted my bag to be lighter. But I have my sunglasses, which those, you know, could be on my head or in my purse or in the car. Just kind of depends on where I took them off. So that's usually close by. And then I like to have this little bag here and this just has colored pins. Um, and I like to keep it in here because it folds nicely. And then I like to take this little like notebook. And then I will also a lot of time, well, depending on where I'm going, I will take my, um, my planner. And that is kind of why I like to have the colored pins because I like to kind of color code things like I'll have like meal plans in one color, activities in another color. Um, I kind of use different colors to help me know different events, if that makes sense. So I also will take these. And these three items are something that are not always with me. Like I said, I had taken these out today because we went to the aquarium and I just, there was really no need for me to haul this around with me at the aquarium. But pretty much anywhere else, like if we're going somewhere for the day or to church or I don't know, any like an appointment, anything like that, then I usually will have these in there. I pretty much just take these out when I know it's going to be a day that I'm going to be hauling the purse a lot and I just really don't want stuff in it. Um, so yeah, there's these. And that's pretty much it, but it makes it really simple because I just, that is pretty much it. And I can just take it out of whatever bag I am using and stick it in the next bag. So that has been really nice. And then not having to take the diapers and wipes and all of that has been really nice too, because that was something I was hauling everywhere. Now I will sometimes, if we are going to be gone for like all day, I might throw in some wipes and maybe a change of clothes for my youngest, just in case. Um, the wet wipes actually come in handy for all ages. You never know when you might get sticky or something and you need wet wipes. But I have started just keeping a pack of that in my car. So I kind of always have wipes there. So I, I don't necessarily always need to put some in my bag. But yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. Oh, so I forgot to share my homeschool bag. Let me share my homeschool bag. I'm gonna go grab it. All right, so this leather bag um, is perfect for my co-op days. It's got this little thing here that just hooks onto the side. So I'm able to just kind of throw in my wallet and keys if I don't want to take a whole nother bag with all of that. Or I can sometimes throw my stuff in here, but I like to keep it a little more separate. But this bag has all the books that I need for our co-op days. I teach two different classes and then I have my school planner that I like to take as well. And yeah, this has just been great. It took me a while to find a bag to work for this. I did not wanna just take a backpack. I was taking this like duffel bag thing because it was the only thing I had big enough to haul all my books, but I didn't really like doing that either. It's just kind of big and awkward and it was more space than I needed. So when I found this bag, and I have no idea what the brand is, sorry. Um, I, I was like, that is, Perfect. I actually found this at a thrift store and that's why I don't know the brand, but um, I don't think it has ever been used. It's, it was like in perfect condition. Um, you don't normally see handbags that are in perfect condition at the thrift store. So when I saw it, I was like, Ooh, I need that. That'll be perfect. And it is, it's perfect. So I love this and I like too that I got it at thrift store because that means it was cheap. 
So if for some reason these books get too heavy and it rips the bag or anything, I am not really gonna be that uptight about it because I did not pay that much for this bag. But I think this is gonna work great and I can put it on my shoulder and go. And it's a good looking bag too. So anyway, that is my homeschool bag. So what do you guys think? Do you like to switch your bags out often? Do you just have one bag that you carry all the time until it dies? Um, what do you guys do? I would love to hear how you kind of keep your bag organized and what your bag collection's like. And yeah, share your thoughts. I will see you all though in my next video. Bye.